Dynamic Seminars, the management and training consultancy presents Southern Africa's leading success lecturers. Good morning and welcome to Stand Up, Speak Out and Win. May I just see please, with a show of hands, those people in the room that get totally terrified when you hear the words, I would now like to call on you to stand up. No? Okay, well, welcome to the club people, welcome to the club. The good news is, the good news is that once you're able to speak well in public, You've got that competency that gives you the confidence that is with you forever, right? Once you know that you're competent, you then are confident, and we can just have that absolute peace of mind. Next time somebody says, would you please come up and talk, you just take a nice deep breath, nice and relaxed, and enjoy yourselves. Only law of today is that you've got to have fun. Right? Everything is negotiable. This is one law that is not negotiable. You've got to enjoy yourselves today. Are you all happy with that? Yes. Fabulous. All right. Let's talk about standing up, speaking out, and winning. I would like to start by asking, is there anybody in the room that has ever heard of a man by the name of Daniel McHenry? Can I see your hands? Well, let me tell you about Daniel McHenry. Daniel McHenry died in the year 1947. Daniel McHenry died standing up giving a speech. Now, to the best of our knowledge, Daniel McHenry was the last one that actually dropped dead while standing up speaking. Right? That was in the year 1947, 60 odd years ago, which means that speaking in public is probably quite a safe business. Right? Now, I, I, I know that you kind of think to yourselves, you know, I'd rather die than stand up there. I've got bad news for you, because the chances are you're not going to die. All right? So uh, it, it's quite a safe business as long as we know what we're doing. Let's talk about the formula, the formula for a successful presentation. It's called the tell them formula. Now, I must ask you to concentrate enormously now because this is incredibly difficult stuff. So please concentrate. Okay. Step number one, tell people what it is that you plan to tell them. Right. Step number two, tell them. I did warn you this is complicated <laughs> stuff. Right? And then step number three, tell them what you have told them. Okay? Very, very simple. Tell them formula. Start off, tell people what you're going to tell them. Then move into telling them. And then finish up by doing what? Tell them what you have already told them. Okay? That is the formula. It's a nice backbone on which to build the presentation. So now, with that as background, can anybody tell me what should I be doing right now? Tell us what you plan to tell us. I think, well, yeah, if we're going to follow the formula, let's do it. All right. We're going to be going through a whole batch of stuff together. Number one, we're going to be uh, talking about the objective of your presentation. Why are you standing up in front of people? Right? What, what are you trying to do while you're standing up in front of people? And that's a very important part because we need to know where we're going. So step number one, objectives. Number two, we now have to sit down and actually prepare this presentation. Uh, yeah, uh, where do I start? You know, what, what I have to do now? Yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be standing in front of people at the end of the month. Very, very special occasion. Uh, what am I meant to do in terms of preparation? Number three, we have to have a look at how do I address the group? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Damas Nira, honor gentlemen. Yeah, uh, how do you address the group? What works and what doesn't work? We need to talk about that. We then need to talk about rehearsal. Well, rehearsal actually is not really that important because, you know, it'll be all right on the day. Now, if you believe that, people, you also believe in the tooth fairy, right? Uh, it's only going to be as good as the rehearsal you put in. I love the story. A young reporter stopped Gary Player. He had just won a major tournament, and a reporter stopped him and said, You know, Gary, you've just got to be one of the absolute luckiest golfers that I've ever yet seen. 
And Gary Player said, you know what? It's an amazing thing. But the more I practice, the luckier I get. <laughs> and, you know, we hope to get lucky on the day. And the answer is you're only going to get lucky if you do the work, right? So we have to talk about rehearsal. We're then going to be talking about group dynamics. What makes up a group, right? Uh, how, how do I work with this group? Are there things in common with groups? And how can I use that to my advantage? Then we have to talk about that big problem called butterflies, all right? And, and unfortunately, unfortunately, many people have a fear of speaking in public that actually is more significant than the fear of death itself. Right? Uh, research around the world shows that people, more people, have got a fear of speaking in public than they have a fear of dying. All right? So we need to talk about what can we do to overcome those fears. Then we have to talk about being introduced. Our ne next speaker is, right? Uh, should we be introduced? If we should, how should we be introduced? All that kind of stuff we need to talk about. Then we have to talk about some opening tips. What can I do to make sure that it's going to be all right, that as I stand up, everything is going to be working? How do I make sure all of those pieces are in place? We then have to talk about using words. Those are the tools that we have. We need to make sure that we're using those words correctly. There's a whole batch of do's and don'ts, once again, that we need to worry about. We then have to talk about verbal mannerisms. What's all that about? How do we make our speech pattern more interesting? What can I do to make my speech a little bit more exciting to the people that are listening to it? Then we have to talk about idiosyncrasies or idiosyncratic behavior. What is that? We're talking about any behavior that a speaker has that is going to drive their audience mad. 